Do you typically live stream with the YouTube mobile app? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to schedule a live stream with the mobile app and then at a later time when it's scheduled, you can pick it up and broadcast to that actual scheduled event. Let's get into it. G'day, Doug back with you. We talk all things technical about YouTube, the back end of YouTube, uh, how to use the apps and creative tools to make YouTube videos. We're gonna head right on over to the YouTube app. I've got it open right now. You can see it on the screen right now and we wanna create a live stream. So I'm gonna hit the plus at the bottom and I'm gonna click go live. And then that's gonna bump us into the go live screen where we can set all the things we want to do for this live stream. So we wanna schedule it. So there's a little grayed out calendar at the top here, which is gonna come into play in just a second. Now you should check all your usual settings here. I'm gonna leave mine unlisted. You can put in the uh, title of your live stream and do all those things. You can scroll down and go to more options. Click advanced settings if you wanna go and make all the information available about monetizing. Uh, whether it's a paid promotion or not, and turn chat on and off, we're gonna leave all that. But just above the advanced settings, you can see here it's grayed out schedule later, the little toggle, we're gonna to tap the toggle. This is where you can schedule your live stream. So, and I'm gonna schedule it for, now let's have a look at the time, 9.40, which is in about four or five minutes from now, which is cool, so we're scheduling that for later. Click next. Does the thumbnail thing, that'll do, because this is a tutorial. And it says there, the stream is set for uh, the 20th at 2136. Now, if I come back in later to pick up that stream at the appointed time, I can see immediately when I'm in here that there's a, the calendar at the top is no longer grayed out and it says one, that means there's one pending stream. So I'm gonna click on that and it says, Here's the streams that you have scheduled and I can see clearly there's my stream. So I'm gonna click that. I've already done all the setup. So all I have to do then is click go live. And then magically I'm going live. Of course, you can have your phone set in landscape if you wanna do a traditional landscape live stream, but you know, I've got it set up for portrait today. So we're portraiting. You can see I am live right now going to an unlisted stream on my channel and you have all the usual features for live streaming. And of course, when you're done, we can uh, let it know that we're done by clicking the X in the top corner. Are you sure you wanna stop streaming? And end, and we're gonna be out and finished. It says I'm done, 40 seconds, done. And it's gonna be uploading the high quality version to YouTube in the background. One of the things you might wanna uh, look into is are you all eligible for streaming from the YouTube mobile app? You need to have at least 50 subscribers and have your channel verified. So if you, you've done those things and you should be good to go on the mobile app. If you're under 50 subscribers on a live stream, you might wanna uh, look into a third party app like Prism Live Studio, uh, Streamlabs Mobile, one of those, or just stream from your computer if you have one and want to do it from your desk or studio. If you have any questions about streaming from the YouTube mobile app, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll meet you there to have that discussion. And I'm waving my hands. Well, this is Doug and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.